Hello folks, thanks for tuning in on my channel and welcome back. If you like to skate long distances or you have planned to participate in a skate marathon or other long distance events, then this video might be useful to you. Many, if not all inline speed skaters or ice speed skaters incorporate cycling into their training schedule or combine both disciplines at a very high level of performance. In this video I explain why incorporating cycling into your training can make you stronger, faster and a better speed skater or fitness skater. Anyway, I will give you six reasons why you should do so. So make sure that you will watch this video till the end. Number one, increasing training volume. Skating is a very technical sport and the more specific one trains for the specific sport, the better you will get at it. However, skating is also a weight-bearing sport that puts a lot of stress onto the body, especially the posterior chain that consists of the calves, hamstrings, glutes and the lower back muscles are under a lot of strain. Also, the quads play a very important part in skating. So you can imagine that an endurance ride on skates in a hunched over aerodynamic position is very taxing to the body. A three or four hour ride on the bike, however, doesn't stress the muscles that much while the cardiovascular and pulmonary system are still put to work. As these systems really have no idea or care what the time of training or exercise is executed, this is an excellent way to increase your training volume with less risk of getting injured. The same muscles are used though. An easy way to increase training volume is to commute to work by bike. Reason number two, overcoming injuries and injury prevention. Although most inline skates are heat moldable, blisters and sore feet are not unusual which can hamper skating at consecutive days. Cycling, on the other hand, can be a great alternative. Training the same muscles without the risk of these injuries will build up your endurance. Training can be executed at low intensity and with adjustable resistance or duration. The circular and non-impact pedal motions are great for recovering from leg, back or other injuries of the musculoskeletal system. Because it's non-weight bearing, you can still train the cardiovascular and pulmonary system so you still maintain physical fitness. Number 3. Improving fat metabolism. Like I discussed in a previous video, endurance training in zone 1 has a positive effect on metabolism, especially in burning fat as the main source of energy. Cycling for longer duration will improve fat burning. The glycogen stores get empty, forcing the body to produce energy from fat. This will be beneficial during a longer event, since we have more than enough fat in our body. Reason number four, high intensity training. Not only cycling is beneficial for developing endurance and fat burning, but also for training at high intensities. Like I said before, skating is a very technical sport and training, when you do all out efforts, your technique might suffer or when your technique or skating skills are not at point yet, you probably don't reach the high intensities needed for zone 3 workouts. As cycling is less technical, it probably is much easier to reach your target heart rate zones. Number 5. Warming up and cooling down. This might be a no-brainer, but before I forget, cycling is great for a warm-up and a cool-down. Especially when you participate in the race, it is an easy way to warm up the muscles and prepare the cardiovascular and pulmonary systems for the upcoming efforts. Elite ice speed skaters, for instance, usually warm up before a race on stationary bikes. Number 6. Recovery training. Last but not least, it's an excellent way to recover from a heavy training session. 
the circular pedal motions will help to flush the lactic acid out of the muscles and will help to get rid of muscle stiffness or soreness. So, in conclusion, cycling is a great tool for improving overall fitness, stimulating fat burning, recovery and preparing the body for high intensity efforts or races. It's for a reason that elite speed skaters add cycling to their training schedule. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll not miss any of my future uploads. And this will help to grow my channel even further. It will really be appreciated. If you have any other suggestions why cycling can be beneficial for skating, please let me know in the comment box below. In the next video I will talk about why cyclists triathletes or other endurance athletes should consider incorporating skating into the training regime as a cross training to get better and faster. So stay tuned. If you want to know how stand-up pedaling can be helpful for recovery, then hit the link on your left and if you want to know more about basic training principles, then push on the right thumbnail. In the meantime, be active to get fit and to stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.